So currently in our level we've got our character that can move around, but our character is sort of stuck by these walls, and if our character tries to leave these walls, they can't go anywhere. But I've wanted to make this level feel much more bigger than it actually is. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some slight changes to our level. So we're going to reduce the walls down, and we're just going to put them in almost like a bit of a maze pattern. Like so, let's have that one here. Let's have this final one like that. So we've got our new level design. So our character's got a bit more of freedom to move about. But what happens if they leave the bounds of the world that we've set up for them? So I'm going to move our character. And I'm going to leave the screen. Now what happens is the character's free to travel for an infinite amount of time into the void until they eventually turn back and they come back on the screen but they can't see where they're turning so the chance of them turning back and landing back on the screen can be quite difficult so what else can we do with this well we can actually add a brand new behavior to our character and we could destroy it when it gets outside the layer so the character's dead but we could also add this thing called wrap so let's see what wrap does so I'm going to walk outside the level again. And what I do is I teleport to the other side of the screen. Oh, I've got a block there, so that's the thing to be careful of when doing this. It's just that I'm right underneath that block, so I should eventually poke out in just a second. But this is a really great way to make your level seem a lot bigger than it actually is. So... There we go, I'm back on the screen. Let's go out on the sides this way. So you'll see this in old versions of Snake. But this might be a nice way if you've got a really big level or you're doing something maybe where you've got to run away from a lot of enemies. You can make the level seem a lot bigger than it actually is.